Aromatherapy can help with your mental, physical, and emotional well-being, but the essential oil blends you use for yourself might not produce the same reaction in your pets. In fact, some oils can be dangerous for your dog. That's why in today's video, I'm going to help you clearly understand which essential oils are safe for your dog and which aren't. Before we get started, just make sure you click subscribe and hit the little bell icon below so you don't miss any other helpful videos. Before we jump into the best essential oils for dogs, let's make sure we're clear on how essential oils work. Our bodies absorb essential oils into the bloodstream through three main methods, inhalation, ingestion by mouth, and through the skin. Once the oils get into the bloodstream, they can travel to various tissues. Different chemicals in the oils have a biological affinity for certain tissues, so knowing your oil's components is the first step in choosing the right oil for your dog. Essential oils are very powerful, especially for animals. Even tiny amounts can have powerful biological effects on every system in the body. That's why before you treat your dog with essential oils at home, it's a good idea to talk to your holistic veterinarian. It's especially important to get a diagnosis if your dog has any severe or persistent symptoms of any kind. Also, make sure your vet knows what other medications or natural products you're using for your dog. This will help avoid any interactions with drugs or supplements. So which essential oils are best for dogs? Lavender is one of the best. It's a universal oil that can be calming for the brain. You can use small amounts of lavender oil when traveling to calm your dog or make him sleepy. Lavender oil can also help with allergies, burns, ulcers, insomnia, car ride anxiety, motion sickness, and more. Cardamom is a diuretic and antibacterial essential oil. Cardamom can help regulate appetite and can also be used for colic, coughs, heartburn, and nausea. Fennel helps the adrenals and balances the pituitary, thyroid, and pineal glands. Fennel essential oil can also break up toxins and fluid and tissue. The fourth essential oil that's good for your dog is helichrysum. Helichrysum is antibacterial and can reduce bleeding after an accident. It helps regenerate skin and repair nerves. It's also useful in heart disease. Frankincense has helped some cases of cancer and works on the immune system. It can reduce tumors and external ulcers. Frankincense also increases blood supply to the brain. It can sometimes worsen high blood pressure, so use caution. Finally, spearmint essential oil helps to reduce weight balance the metabolism, and stimulate the gallbladder. Spearmint can also be used for colic, diarrhea, and nausea. When using essential oils to help with your dog's physical and mental issues, just remember that they're also very powerful and dogs are typically more sensitive to them than humans are. Be sure to use safe handling principles and consult an aromatherapy expert so that you don't risk making your dog sick. Also, not all essential oils are quality products. Some oils contain contaminants or adulterants, which means they can cause a more serious adverse reaction. That's why you should always use high quality oils from reputable companies and ideally verify the quality of oils before using them. A good company will be happy to answer questions about their product. Keep in mind that your dog's sense of smell is hundreds of times more sensitive than yours. So use diluted oils and provide him with an escape route. If your dog shows you he doesn't like an oil, don't force it on him. It's safest not to give essential oils by mouth, but to use them topically and always dilute them. To dilute essential oils for topical use, you want a 0.5% to 1% dilution. This means a total of three to six drops of essential oil per ounce of a carrier oil, like almond or apricot kernel oil. So now we know the best essential oil for dogs, but which ones should you avoid? Generally speaking, you should be cautious with so-called hot oils, like cinnamon, oregano, clove, wintergreen, thyme, and birch. Also, less is more with essential oils. Most problems result from people overusing oils and causing an unintentional overdose. To reduce the chances of this, many experts recommend using an oil for no more than two weeks and then taking a break for a week or more. If you have any more questions about essential oils for dogs, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and visit dogsnaturallymagazine.com for more information.
Thanks for watching.